Hey guys, it's Max with Lego Maxer, and today I am really excited because today I got the 501st Battle Pack. This is a really exciting set to get. It's recommended for ages 7 and up. It's at 75280 and has 285 pieces and 6 minifigures, which is kind of surprising for a $30 set. And again, I was super surprised to get that. Wow. It's such a good set. I already built it. I was so excited. So let's just get into the minifigures. The first one is um, just... Well, actually, the first two are just regular um, clone troopers. They're the same character um, with the same face print even because they're clones with lots of nice detailed back printing and even foot printing, which is really nice. Um, again, they're just the same, though. And then next, we'll probably have my second favorite character in the set because he has this long gun. He's the same as them. He's the same as this character, except, again, with a longer gun. And I love the piece that they used. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the candle piece, which you just stick on that long sniper gun. But other than that, they're the same characters. The problem, my favorite character in the set is our 501st Jetpack Trooper. He has some blue arms, which I don't know if, which one I like better, white or blue, but I don't know. Um, with some red markings on his head, which is really cool, and foot printing. And a blue jetpack, and which is covering the back printing, but he does have some back printing. And then we just got two battle droids. Um, again, um, nothing different about them. So, yeah. And then we have the bark speeder, which is actually pretty. It's, it's actually pretty big. Like you might expect it to be kind of small, the way it looks on camera, but it's actually pretty big. Um, you got some studs on the f stud shooters on the front, which I'm not even going to demonstrate how they work because I'm almost a hundred percent sure you've seen it already. So there's no point in showing it. Uh, they do use a lot of these ski pieces though, which is really cool, and they, have, they even have some guns on the side, which is nice. But I love the seating area, how they managed to get that angle where the seat's kind of like lean, resting back, sort of. And then you can just take one of your clone troopers. Sadly, there's no place to put his gun, though, so you just got to put it, you know, wherever. And, and then you can just give him the little handlebars. And he fits in there really nice and tight. Or not really tight, but he fits in there really nicely. Uh, that's what it looks like. Again, it's actually a pretty big build, and what I'm probably going to do is just add some clear pieces under here to make it look like it's kind of hovering, sort of. But yeah, it's a really good um, uh, bark speeder. And then we have the the ATRT, which is, I don't know. I, I want to say it's the best design for an ATRT yet, but I don't know. Um, the 2019 um, ATRT was pretty good. The, the one that was in the for the 20th anniversary with the Darth Vader that one was pretty good too. So I want to say this one, but I'm not sure. So we'll just leave it a tie, I guess. Um, and then the first thing you can do, or not one first, maybe it's the last thing, is you can take your trooper's gun, the big one, and there's actually a clip on the end which holds some binoculars and then there's another one to put your weapon on and then you got this little antenna back there and the only thing that looks kind of weird is that the legs um they are sort of long because they use the same pieces as the scout walker the 2019 one did whenever i say scout walker i mean the 2019 one so we'll just yeah that's what I mean. It uses the same pieces as a scout walker. And um, it just looks a little too big. Like half a stud too big. But yeah. Um, and then at, and also these little pieces here. They just kind of like stick out. So instead of using a 2x2. Two, a two two, I'm probably going to switch them up for a 2 by one And then you got this little stud shooter on the front. Again not even going to show how it works. Because you know how it works. But it does have a lot of range of motion because it's on a ball joint, which is really nice. So you can do whatever you want with it. Oh, and also I love how the design of these feet with the little toes or claws or whatever. Um, but one thing I don't like about the set or the whole set 
is that it uses a lot of stickers. And as we all know, um, most people don't like stickers, and myself included. But these, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at how they turned out. So they didn't get messy or anything. So that's good. And then one major, well, actually, it's a small upgrade, but like it does everything to make this set better. Is on the Scout Walker again, 2019 one. If you put the character in, then um, and you tried to pull it out, the handlebars would come off too. In this, the handlebars are built into the ATRT, which is a much, much, much better design. If you look at that, is not gonna even if you pull them out. See, didn't come off much. It's not. It's a small change, but it's much better than the 2019 one. And a lot of people. So sometimes some people will say that most AT-ATs are oversized, and the only one that was good was the old one with the little ATRT. And I somewhat agree with that. Um, somewhat. I think that this one is probably the best, but. Um, the older one is more accurate. But other than that, this is a perfect set. The, probably the worst things, or thing, is probably the ball joint and maybe the stickers. Other than that, this is really near perfect set. I was so surprised. I mean, I was expecting a great build. I got even better than that definitely worth 30 bucks it's really hard to get so, but if you see the chance and it's i would say only get it if it's 30 dollars or whatever um other than that maybe not you might want to try to find a different way but uh yeah that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching like and subscribe goodbye